YouTube, Gallagher123123, back with yet another Mr. Christmas sound product review. And this one may actually look slightly familiar. And the reason for it that looks slightly familiar is this is actually another Mr. Christmas concertina. This one they call, if I am correct, they call this the Deluxe Concertina, and I got this in, actually for Christmas, from a family member in 2010. So it's one of my newer, slightly newer pieces. And this has a few neat features that I want to quickly get into, but I really want to get to the music, because I, I have a few things to get to. So um, one of the neat things is this has a clock. It's not currently running. I don't have the battery in it. But part, one of the features of the clock is that it can play a song every hour. And that is quite lovely. You can also just listen to the songs all the way through, which is what we're going to do. Now, quick tour. Again, down at the bottom, start here. There are these two slots where you could put a figurine. But I don't have any. I don't know where I put those, so I don't have one in there. Um, then in between that is the clock you can feel you know the round opening for that the top is a lid to open this up and it has the bells just like the other concertina we looked at so very similar and it's got the two knobs one on either side for adjusting the song with um five lettered and ten numbers to select your song like for example angels we have heard on high is a one um, just like the other concertina. And on the back, I'm not going to get to really show you this, but there's a adapter port, a power switch, volume, and another switch which I cannot remember what it does at the moment. I apologize for that. Now, really quickly, I do want to say the arrangements that you're going to hear are going to sound very similar to the other concertina. Actually, this plays all of the same songs. However, there is a slight difference in sound and the bells patterns are a bit different. So I thought this was still worth showing and some of the songs are in different keys. So as I thought about it, I did decide to go ahead and still do a similar video for this one. And also I do apologize for the glare. It's currently quite sunny where I'm recording this and as I am finishing up stuff for college finals, my desk is a mess, so I'm using my nightstand here. But that shouldn't detract from the beauty of this, I hope. So let's get into it. I'm going to let you hear all 25 Christmas and 25 all-time classics, just like we did with the other concertina. And again, I'm going to do this with the lid open. So I think we are good to go at this point. Let's hear the 25 Christmas and 25 all-time classics on this deluxe concertina. Okay, here we go.
music on this deluxe concertina and as we've done the last few videos I'll quickly show you the bottom now by accident I realized I called the frontier the bottom you can tell I'm tired <laughs> um, so quickly let's turn this over actually I'm going to unplug the plug from the back just so nothing happens to it while we turn this I'm just gonna leave this on the lap on my lap for now to end the video so you can see there there's a song list which i will put in text form in the description 
um, since I do know what they all are, because I put them in the description for the first concertina we looked up a couple weeks back. Um, and above that list is a speaker and some written, more written stuff. Getting closer so you can read that. Um, and there's also on the side some, like, probably some safety information about, you know, the adapter spe specifications. Um, and I see there's a knob for setting the clock. And there's a battery compartment there somewhere, because the clock part does run on battery, but the main, the music box does need to be plugged in. All right. Well, I think that's, ooh, that didn't sound good. Ooh. Okay, I think that's going to do it for this beautiful deluxe. Oh, there's a good look at the bells inside. Beautiful deluxe concertina. I love this thing. Um, it's very interesting. I'm sure you could, if you're able to tell, I'm actually very curious to know if you noticed the difference in sound quality between this one and the other concertina. So if you haven't watched the other one, go check it out and come back and let me know what you thought of the different sounds. I don't know. It's They're very close in sound. I don't know which one I like better. I almost feel like the first one might have a slightly nicer tone to it. It's also interesting to hear the different keys that some of the songs are in. Like, some were um, transposed up in pitch, like Here We Come a Caroling was moved from C to D, but others went down, like A Little Town of Bethlehem and um, O Tannenbaum went from being an A on the other concertina to to G. So it's kind of been interesting for me to really hear that again. And of course, there were some more major keys changes, like Jingle Bells going from C to G. So, I don't know, I just find that, as a bit of a musician myself, find that kind of interesting to listen to, uh, hear, hearing how it sounds at a different key. Now, hopefully the quality of the music turned out all right. Um, I did hear some sirens and stuff going by, but I'm hoping the music really drowned that out. So, hope you've enjoyed this. Um, definitely, I'd like to know your thoughts. And thank you for watching. I've been noticing that there has been some good interest in my Mr. Christmas series, so I'm going to do my best to continue it. I do have a few more pieces to show. I'm not sure how long this will run. I'm intending for at least through Christmas Day. But we may do one or two more after that. But we'll see. Stay tuned. Um, all right. So again, this is my deluxe concertina review and demonstration. Oh, there's also lights down here. You may have seen come on and off in between songs. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, enjoyed hearing it. I enjoyed showing it to you. So thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.